Well, hello everyone and thank you guys for watching Classic by Rider here bringing you a new video September 17 is a Tuesday I'm on my way into work Last full week of summer I think the 26th is uh, the beginning of fall and it sure feels a little bit cooler in the morning. It's feeling a little cool right now. I'm wearing my uh, spring jacket. Rocking out new gloves. My wife came back from Colombia yesterday after being there for a week. She got me this cool new gloves. They feel actually pretty cool. They were uh, 55,000 55, Colombian pesos, which in turn turns out to like $15. Really cool, they're nice, they're comfortable. They're more like uh, motocross gloves, but they feel good. On my way into work, I didn't make a video this weekend because I was obsessing about my computer. I got a a new video card for it. See, I have the video card that it was in it. It was working perfectly on Windows, but because I made it into a Hackintosh, um, Apple drop support for NVIDIA cards on the OS Mojave, the new one. And uh, the card that I had in there, it wouldn't work unless I do some hackery. So I order, I know the Apple does support ATI cards. That's the ATI Radeon. And I order an inexpensive one, though it's still a pretty good one. 4 gigs video RAM and all that good stuff I didn't do a little bit of due diligence and uh, check it out too well the operating system does seize it but it will not boot to it but anyway I started uh, when I got it I got it Wednesday and I waited till Friday to uh, mess with it and I was up to like 1 o'clock in the morning messing with the computer trying to install the OS system with the new card since the uh, by putting it in the, in the computer and trying to boot to it it will just go into a boot cycle it will just boot and when it goes about to go to the desktop and will reboot again so I figure I reinstalled the OS and so I won't be without a computer completely what I did I had an extra hard drive and I uh, started to install the OS to it but when not it was not working correctly it was just still rebooting So I kept messing with it all weekend. Finally yesterday after I came back from the airport from picking up my wife, we did some uh, laundry and all that stuff and I was messing with it. I was able to install the OS into that extra hard drive and get it to boot, but the only way I can get it to boot is I install the OS using the the new video card that I put in, the ATI, but before I boot back into the OS to finish the installation, I had to switch to the internal video card, the motherboard video, which works fine, but I just wanted to be able to boot to the other one because um, Final Cut Pro uh, takes, um, takes advantage of the GPI uh, memory and uses it to render those videos a lot quicker 
And I know it's a lot of hackery, I know a lot of geekly, I, I know a lot of you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. So in the meantime, me trying to install it into the original Mac, I lost uh, audio, the audio drivers got messed up and all the stuff, so I had to reinstall the OS anyway. So when I get home tonight, I had to finish installing all the programs and all the nice stuff. And the resolution that I have, you know, since being that I like OS X, I might get um, back in the in the early 2000s, Apple used to make a um, computers a tower called the Mac Pro, which it was. Um, aim at professionals, professional video editors, professional uh, sound professionals and all that good stuff. But in mid-2013, they killed it and they launched the Mac Pro cra uh, trash can version, which was that cylinder looking Mac Pro, no expendability. It was like a trash can basically they, they call it the trash can Mac Pro and the one the tower used to be called the cheese grater Mac Pro because it was like holes the grate it was like with little holes which it was great for cooling so it turns out that because Apple killed support for those cheese grater ones in 2012 I think or 2010 was the last one they made um, I, I don't know if you guys have seen anything. I see the reflection of the sun in uh, <laughs> in uh, of the sun in the back in the video. So uh, back again, Apple killed the tower, the cheese grater tower, Mac Pro in 2010. They didn't upgrade in 2012, and in 2013 they uh, introduced the Mac Pro trash can cylinder Mac Pro thingy, which it was all built in, and people was up in arm because it had no expendability. The, the good thing about the the tower, the cheese grater tower, is that if you weren't happy with what Apple put in it, you can change everything. It was like expandable. You can take out the motherboard. Put a different, not the mother, but you can take out the video card, put another one, you can take out the memory, put your own, you can take out the hard drives, put your own. On the cylinder, it was like everything built into it. So if you wanted to use a different graphics card, you had to expend extra money and, be, and buy um, this thing called um, external GPU unit, which it plugs into the, the Thunderbolt port, and you can use an external graphics card to drive your projects they it was expensive it was like almost four thousand dollars for the high-end one so because it was professional aimed to professionals so they killed it then they didn't update it for a couple of years and this year at, uh, at the WWDC in June I think it was they reintroduced the cheese grater Mac Pro again, but that's not what I'm talking about back because in 2012, 2010, they killed the, the support for the other one. A lot of people still wanted to use that old Mac Pro because the, the expandability. Fast forward to 2017 and those Mac Pros are the one still a lot of professionals use, but there's been so much advance in uh, in technology that the Mac Pro was still using like old technology, like for example USB 2. Um, they never had um, SSD support or anything. So there's been a workaround by flashing uh, the um, firmware from a. Uh, newer Mac Pro into the um, the older Mac Pro, the 2009 version. And to my surprise, there's a market for those. 
and really 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 inexpensive so uh, if you're gonna build yourself a Hackintosh which is what I have for a high-end Hackintosh you'd be spending like good 12 $1,200 or more we good uh, you know a good Hackintosh and you still gotta make it work with Apple <coughs> excuse me with this all Mac Mac Pros they're Apple so you uh, you follow this prompts you refresh the new firmware into it and you can put SSDs you can put more RAM up to like 48 gigs of RAM you can put uh, uh, USB 3.0 card and it'll support it you can put uh, what is it uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth because the, those Mac Pro did came with a Bluetooth never came with Wi-Fi but there's they're supportive the new OS supports Wi-Fi and uh, and Bluetooth so they sell this little expansion cards so you know looking at YouTube there's a couple of places that's that that's, that's all they do they take this old Mac Pros that most likely people will throw out they refurbish them put them up to date and uh, resell them so uh, when I bought this computer that I have right now, it came out to like almost $900. And it was with middle of the road, um, what I call budget um, PC. See, back in the day, I didn't know that you could just buy an old Mac Pro and you can do it yourself. So you can get a new Mac Pro with all up to date. Uh, memory and hardware and all that crap for like six hundred dollars and you can still add uh, it comes with four bays so you can add up to four hard drives it supports like four terabyte drives in each slot so you can have yourself a good good uh tower there but anyway as i'm doing that with mine i'm gonna get it back to uh to use I left the home is running back again it boots out I got into the OS with everything working so far so good so when I get home I'm gonna install all the programs in it and uh, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna buy me one of those cheese graters Mac Pros because you can still run windows in it that's the that's the beauty of those towers back in the in the early 2000s 2008 2009 when the windows vista debacle that it was uh, um, a flop and most uh, most PC makers were uh, were having identity crisis. They didn't know what what computer to make and whatnot. There was a uh, an Apple evangelist, Ross Mossberg, I think it was called. He used to work for the Wall Street Journal back then. He said that the best Windows computer was a Mac because. Uh, Windows uh, Mac knew that a lot of people will use Windows in their workflow they still wanted to have the as a customer so they built this thing into Mac OS it was called bootcam what bootcam will do especially on uh, laptops it repartitioned the hard drives and you can install Windows natively into uh, the OS you can install Windows natively into the computer in a separate partition and if you wanted to boot into Windows all you do is just restart the computer hold the option key and the keyboard and it'll give you the option to boot to the Windows hard drive or the Mac OS hard drive 
but she was still one hard drive but if you had the the big tower you can have one hard drive dedicated to windows and uh, one to mac then later on they came out with uh with the virtualization where you can run windows into a virtual machine and all that stuff there was uh different software there was a premium company used to sell the software until uh they uh they came out with the free version uh virtual box which is a free version os uh open source but yeah the tower mac pro lives on and i've been watching videos people doing benchmarks on them putting the the m.2 hard drives in them and put into it and being really really fast I'll be back in a little bit. Well, it's not definitely not short riding weather in the mornings. A little bit nipply over here in the Pine Barrens. Um, last year, <laughs> last fall, should I say, late October, almost November. No, it must have been late November because I already had came out of work or was done with work so I was doing Uber and I had to ride someone from Riverhead down to the Brookhaven Labs and uh, so I got on to William Floyd Parkway I saw a gentleman in a Harley with no jacket he was like freaking like what 32 degrees out he had no jacket tank top shirt cut off helmet those are the one that Harley uses with the little the little bowl on top of the head that doesn't protect anything <laughs> driving down with uh, I think it was a chopper with the handlebars up his arm like stuck in the air I was like holy crap I was started laughing said, that guy must be cold obviously he wasn't but I just felt cold I had the heat on like 32 degrees and he's riding with no shirt I mean no jacket arms stuck out in the air looked like a lobster <laughs> oh my goodness that's funny so I didn't in my last video I made last week Sunday I said that I wasn't gonna be able to ride the bike last week to work and I didn't. In fact, when I cover it up that day or the day after, I think Monday I was gonna take it to work. I, I decided I was gonna drive my mother and sister-in-law to my stepdaughter's house and come back and take the, the bike. But uh, I... Uh, I didn't want to take the chance and be late so I didn't ride the bike I just put the cover on it when I came back from work that day Monday last week and I didn't ride it all week my baby stayed on the covers all week not even this weekend I didn't even take it out not once so I was messing with the computer oh and I didn't finish my thought on Friday night I went I went to bed at 1 o'clock messing with the computer. Saturday, I went to have my uh, the oil change in my car. And take my mother and sister I love to the store and to the mall. So by the time I came home, it was like 6 o'clock. And I started messing with the computer again.
and uh, went to bed again like around 12 o'clock at night so Sunday I was almost like a zombie but I still was messing with the computer I still didn't give up and then by the end of Sunday I was like ah, just gonna leave the other hard drive on and uh, I can get it to work another day so I put my other hard drive back on it the one that I was using before that I knew the computer would put into it and I lost the sound drivers so I couldn't get any sound out of the speakers and I lost NTFS uh, workability I mean the Mac uses a different technology than than Windows for their hard drive for the file structure so my uh, my one hard drive where I have all my media stored like movies and all my backups and stuff is NTFS because it was on Windows it was formatted for Windows when I got the, the computer and uh, there's this app on the Mac back in the day when I had my other Hackintosh I used to call uh, Fuse for Mac OS which it was an, an application that installs some drivers into the system and you were able to uh, read and write to an NTFS drive so Fuse is no longer supported it's been bought by Google it's no longer supported on, on Mac OS I mean it's for Mac OS but it does to support NTFS because they didn't want to pay uh, Windows the license to use NTFS so I was looking around and someone were able to take Mac Fuse the old version and put it over to a new version called Mountie and you were able to get it to work but I don't know what I did because I was doing stuff to the computer to make it better made it worse I lost NTFS readability so I couldn't access I mean I could see the drive I could browse to it but I couldn't write to it like put stuff in it I could take stuff out but I couldn't take stuff put stuff in basically so that's why I was doing the reinstallation because I lost sound and I lost the NTFS working around so now that I got the new hard drive I'm gonna restore all the drivers to it I'm just gonna save it leave it like that so that's why I uh, on Sunday I was working on the freaking computer I look like a zombie my eyes were like look like I had age like a hundred years that's what happens when you don't have enough sleep and Sunday because I had to get up really early on Monday morning to go get my wife in the airport I still couldn't go to bed early because I was still messing with the computer and you know and I had to I had you know uh, it's, it's something that you, when I knew that I can do something and I knew that I can do it I had to keep trying but I knew that I had to get up really early so like around 11 o'clock said that's it I only got two more hours to sleep three more hours to sleep before I get up I shut it down shut the F down and left it went to the airport and yesterday I said you know what today is the day I'm gonna get it and by God at 9 o'clock last night I had that thing running <laughs> but I had to go to bed <laughs> because I had to go to work today so uh, now that I know it's running I'm just gonna install all the programs back into it and start fresh that's what you do with backup I was doing backups every day 
so all my uh, my projects that I had on the GarageBand and Final Cut Pro they'll save in my backup back up man all right I'll catch you guys back up in a little bit Well, I have to hang back because that asshole in the red truck is smoking a cigarette, blowing smoke out the window, and I'm getting all the whiffs out of it. I hate cigarette. I hate the smell of it. You know, my father was a smoker, my mom was a smoker. You know what cigarette does? It gives you cancer. My father died of lung cancer from smoking. He was only 72. Look at that, still blowing smoke out the window. Nasty. Woo. Disgusting. I don't understand. If you smoke, why you have to blow the wind the smoke out of the window when you just keep it inside? And then, not only that, when you're done with your cigarette, most car has this ashtray to throw the freaking butt out of the window. Let's see. An asshole with a cigarette. Had to be a Trump supporter. See if Trump's gonna save you when you get cancer, idiot. Maybe you could call Uncle Trump. Ask him to loan you a couple of millions so you can fight your your cancer. <laughs> Fucking idiot. And I'm not really political, but I can deny Trump's has done good stuff for this country, but he's nothing but a bigot. Racist motherfucker. September 17 already. Jeez. Last week I said, oh, still smoking. Oh my goodness. This is a chain smoker. Holy fuck. There's some places that I re that I hate going. One of them is social service office. My wife's been out of work for almost a month and a half now, and uh, she's very subjective. Subjective. I mean, you can tell her something and she'll believe you like in a heartbeat. I can say something to her and she'll be a skeptic, but you tell her to her and she in a flash. Don't think about it. So before she went to to uh, to Colombia, she met this friend of hers at TJ Maxx, and this friend of hers tell her that she she did broke her foot too at home, and she went to the social security office and she filed for disability, and they gave her disability. For the week she was not working. She believed it. So guess where we went yesterday? <laughs> to the social service to a social security office 
so she can apply for disability. And I said, they're not gonna give you anything. That's only if you can't work. You're going back to work. And, uh, well, end up going to disabilities for the girl to tell her, no. We only give you a disability if you are to work for 12 months or more. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going uh, this way. So then the lady tells her, oh, we can't help you here unless you are uh, planning not to go back to work. That's the only way we can give you this ability, and we need a doctor's note. Which well, she's going back to the doctor. Come on. Uh, day after tomorrow, Thursday, the 19th. So they can give her a. They're gonna see how the foot is doing, and then she probably can go back to work. But no. She said, I'm gonna get it. They have to give it to me because my friend says so. All right, so I go there. They tell her now, you have to be uh, out of work for 12 months or more. And not able to go back to work for a while. But she's going back to work. Then the lady said, maybe you can try social services. They might be able to help you out. And I said, no. We ain't going to social services. First of all, you go there, you're gonna be waiting for like three hours. We still gotta go do laundry and all that stuff. No. But, 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 all right, went to the social services office. And uh, people smoking at the door, right off the back. They gave me a I told them that she wanted to apply for social services. They gave me a stack of papers, like like 300 pages to fill up. And I kept complaining, you know what? We're going to be here until like 5 o'clock. They're going to close and we're still going to be here. All they're going to tell you is that you have to bring a whole bunch of stuff just to tell you that you can't, you, you're not eligible because you're making too much money. Finally, she, like, reality hit her because we already did that once. And she said, let's go home. Let's go. I'm hungry. Let's go have lunch, uh, lunch and then do laundry. Ay, ay, ay. Women, women. Can't live with them. Can't legally, can legally get rid of them. <sighs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Any suggestion, you can post them down below. This is Classic by Rider, signing off. See ya!